All right guys, so today we're gonna to be going over all the parts that I used for my solar ground mount system. I got all this stuff from the Alti store. Uh, I am an affiliate with them. I think they're a great store and I'll leave a link to all these parts down in the description. Uh, I also have it in another form, like a spreadsheet, if it's easier for you to read. But you can pause this, check it out, look at all the prices, the quantities, check out everything I got. Uh, it came out to $4,000 after my tax credit, that was for 4,500 watts added to my system. So anyway, I'm going to go through all this stuff, so let's get started. Okay, first up we got the Iron Ridge XR ground mount bonded rail connector. 12 of these, 12 of these. Okay, next up we got the Iron Ridge top cap for three inch pipe. So we got four of those, each one has two of these bolts, U bolts. Check. Okay, and we have Iron Ridge, 24 of these rail bolts. They go in here, bolt the rails on. Okay, these are the 15 amp, 150 volt, DIN rail mounted breakers that go in the combiner box. We got four of them. This is the 50 amp, 300 volt breaker that gets you from the combiner into the charge controller. And this is the 100 amp, 150 volt breaker that gets you from the charge controller out to the system. All right, this is the Midnight Solar MNPV6 combiner box. Looks like that. There it is. Uh, Okay, nice. Okay, next up we got the Midnight Solar 300 volt surge protector. Looks like this. Very nice. Goes on the combiner box. Okay, these are the extension cables for hooking up the solar panels to the combiner box. They got the MC4 connectors, male and female. We'll be cutting these as needed to wire up all 12 panels. You got four. Uh, four circuits in parallel, three in series. Okay, here are the 12 Q cell 370 watt mono solar panels, 750 pounds. Uh, barely got it off the truck with my Kubota pallet forks, but we got it. And these are the Iron Ridge XR1000 rails. Got six of these. Probably take a couple of them out of the box just to make sure they're not bent. No problem. Yep. There it is. She's a beauty. Put that right up next to the other two. All right, guys, so that's all the parts that I used to build the ground mount system. I'll leave links down in the description. And next up, we're going to get right into the layout and the dig. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.